So this is one project I got. It involves this servo motor from KUKA and this turning platform. And the client wants me to make it work so that this motor spins this platform. And as you can see here, we have a part from a car. It spins around and there is a gear here, but we cannot use it. So I need to think of a way to make this servo motor spinning this. Also, the customer does not want this servo motor to protrude beyond this measure because of reasons, I don't know. And so I need to think of a way how to do this. And I also need to do it fast because the deadline is very short and I don't have time to buy any parts like a gearbox, angle gearbox for this motor or something like that. Make it work with a belt drive or something like that. I gotta work with the things that I got. So I have to think fast of a way how to do this with the parts I have in my workshop or the parts that I can build by myself. So I got basic idea how to do this. Thinking about uh, attaching a worm gear to this axle, 3D printing a gear that would be driven by the worm gear on the motor. But I have a problem with how is this assembled. As you can see, bottom part is the one that spins. So this gear, but uh, the gear is too low for me to use it this way. So I'm thinking about inverting this completely, get a little bit more space to work with, and then we will see. So as you can see there's a pretty huge ball bearing inside and on this side also. I want to remove this part but I can't reach the screws because somebody glued this gear after it was mounted to this board. So I will try to remove the gear without destroying it but uh, somehow I think it's going to be really hard to do. I was searching around the workshop what I have and I have this motor from the window lifters of a car. I think it's from Kia if I'm not mistaken and it has this worm gear inside that uh, is perfect for this gear like perfect perfect like it was made for it because there is no play at all so this could spin this platform and the motor is from four and a half thousand rpm to ten thousand rpm so really really fast motor and i think the worm gear is going to be perfect because the reduction of gearing is pretty high with the worm gear i just realized this isn't a hard uh, plastic gear it's uh, soft mounted so it's probably meant for some custom stuff where you want to have adjustable gearing. Now that I have removed this, I can actually remove this piece. Okay, so remove this and let's see how do we remove this part. Uh. have uh, cut this under 45 uh, so I can put it like this and now I need to make some space here for the gear so I need to cut something like this so I cut these pieces out and now I just need to mount them to see where to next? And now you can already see that this thing is a lot more compact than it was. So the legs are now a lot lower than they were before. And now I need to figure out a way to attach this motor. And now I'm trying to determine the position of the motor. And it should be something like this. Because uh, this part is going to be on the gear. And I cut this worm gear from the rotor of the window lifter. So now I need to make the adapter to mount this to the motor axle.
so this is what I come up with so this uh, worm gear goes in here it's pretty tight fit and then this goes on the motor which is also pretty tight fit and I plan to fixate it with screws uh, three of them or I don't know maybe even more so this cannot be moved and then this should go right here now I need to figure out some kind of way to fixate the motor I'm still thinking if I would do it with steel or maybe some kind of 3d printed mounts but first I think uh, I will pull this piece out clean this up fixate this gear in the final position and make sure that it is strong enough for our use And now I need to glue this gear inside this groove but first I will grind everything so that the glue sticks the best that it can. And I'm also cleaning it with a nitro dilutener before the gluing to remove any traces of grease and also prepare the surface for the glue and also the aluminium part to remove any grease whatsoever and for gluing this I'm using epoxy metal to component epoxy adhesive from Bisson also known as liquid metal and it's a two compound glue I just need to mix it first I'm using this old can that I'm going to throw away anyway I don't want to have too much glue on it, so the gear would not stick unevenly, so I'm removing the excess glue. And now I think if I spin it, I can check if it's all right. Let's see if the gear is straight. I would say that's pretty good pretty good and even I put the motor into final position I made sure it's parallel to this piece here, right here and I used uh, two squares to make sure that it is and of course it is right in the center of the gear and uh, I transferred this stand into CAD so I can model the stand. I transferred all the dimensions. Yeah, basically only used uh, this digital measuring tool to transfer dimensions and I transferred the center of this axle to the center of this axle so I know this distance and I know this is square so uh, and I have also can check this measure to make sure it's good in the CAD and now I can make 3d printed mount that will hold everything together and it's the next day and this is the part it connects all of these three legs from the turntable and makes them stronger and it also holds this uh, servo motor in place and it's a bit uh, adjustable uh, this holes are a bit bigger so I can adjust the motor a bit to make it a perfect fit with the gear and guess what I already have the part printed out it's strong light you cannot bend it at all I would say that's pretty good fit 
from the first try. I fixed everything in place uh, using clamps and now I can transfer these holes to the aluminium legs. And now I got this part fixated with screws. You can see that it makes the entire assembly more uniform. Everything is connected. I need to transfer this hole. As you can see, this hole goes all the way through this uh, square tube to fixate the motor. And that should be almost it. I can mount the motor and then I just need to finish, of course, this upper part where I plan to put this piece. And then this piece will be mounted to the board or to anything that needs to be mounted to the turning platform. And now I want to change these legs and this is really thin aluminium and when you thread a thread in the aluminium it tends to get loose from time to time so it's better to use these press fit threads and that's what I'm going to put here and at the same time I'm going to extend the legs a bit. I have 3D printed these legs and now I just need to tap the thread on the plastic parts and then I can screw the legs in. Now I have to make this thread bigger and this hole also to be able to mount this with the M8 thread and tighten it up. And now I just assembled this platform, but I still didn't put the servo motor on it because I want to test one thing first. I want to test how strong it is and to prove how strong it is, I'm going to stand on it and test it with my own weight. So uh, almost uh, 90 kilos right here. So let's do it. So now I'm standing with my entire weight on the platform and if there was a servo motor here it would spin me real nice so yeah this platform is 90 kilos approved i would say and the only thing left to do now is to finally mount the servo motor and then check if everything works properly
and that is this platform done. Uh, all you need to do is mount whatever you like to this piece right here and let's say you want to mount this green table you just need to mount this part to it and then screw the both pieces inside the platform like this and you should be good to go to spin whatever you like and uh, yeah i hope you like this build I hope you uh, can check the rest of my channel because there's a lot of interesting stuff there. I built my own motion simulator, so uh, check that out. I also built my solar boat and there's a lot of interesting things coming in the future too, like uh, conversion of gasoline cars to electric, old timers uh, restoration and all kind of stuff. So make sure to subscribe and click that bell notification icon and uh, yeah, that's basically it. See you around, stay customized.